Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Thursday. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we are talking again about character traits. And we're going to meet a new character today. But so a character trait, what's a trait? How you describe someone, what their characteristics are. Um, there are outside traits, right? Like right now, again, my hair's still up. I have brown hair. Um, I have hazel eyes. You don't know that, but, um, and I'm wearing like this, my, one of my favorite purples, purplish sweaters, right? That's my outside trait. Um, but my inside traits, you would have to get to know me to, you can't just judge someone like you can't tell how they are as a person, but just by looking at them, you have to get to know them. And that's what we do with our characters. We get to know them. Um, the, again, this is our outside inside trait here. And we did it with the pigeon on Tuesday, right? And the pigeon wasn't so happy, but come on, pigeon, you got some qualities I think you need to improve on. But remember the outside trait is like what we can see. So for the pigeon, we said it's the bluish kind of feather color that we can see of him. He's got a long neck, skinny legs. Um, he's got a stripe, he's got a yellow beak. That he's got a big eye, but he's got two big eyes. We, we confirmed that with that one picture, right? It's just always, he's always on a side view. Those are his outside traits, what we can see, what we know just by looking at them or someone, right? The inside traits, right? The heart, it's like how you get to know them, um, what we learn from actions and words and thoughts that our characters do. Now we, we've learned a lot about Pigeon. One, he is stubborn, he's impatient, right? Those are things that we can describe him now because we know him. We've met him a lot. We've read a lot of books with him. We kind of get to know him, right? So I have a new character today. This is me, Tacky the Penguin. Hi there, that's Tacky. Now, <laughs> We can figure out his outside traits right now. He makes me laugh a little bit. And I want to compare him to a real penguin. Okay, so we're talking about penguins, but Heller's is teaching about penguins in there. So just the outside traits of Tacky the penguin versus this real penguin. Now there's like one difference here, or there's a few, but black and white feathers. Yeah, I mean, we're calling them feathers. It's like, that's what's on there. Um, but they got the white belly, the black kind of head, the black kind of like... Um, which these are called, their arms are called flippers. They both have flippers. They both have a bill or I put slash beak. You might call it a beak, but I'm pretty sure it's called a bill. Okay, so they both have that. They both have webbed feet, helps them swim. Penguins are good swimmers, so it helps them swim. So both tacky and the real penguin, those are outside traits. Now, something about tacky though, right here. Hmm, he's got a shirt and a bow tie on. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's tacky right there. Yeah, um, in, real penguins don't have that. So tacky's a fake he's a fictional character but we're going to get to know him like why is he wearing that shirt and a bow tie like what makes him what makes him different from other penguins um but by just by looking at him just by looking at him i could take a few guesses we can take a few guesses but that's not really okay i want to get to know him i want to in order to say his inside traits his personality we got to read to find out, right? We can't just say, we think he's nice. What if he's mean? What if he's just wearing that funny shirt and tie, but he's actually mean? You can't judge someone until you get to know them, okay? So we're going to read the first book in the series called Tacky the Penguin. And we're going to get to know the guy. I love him, uh, but we definitely are going to get to know him, okay? So let me stop sharing right here. Okay, hi, here I am. Okay, so Tacky the Penguin, there he is. My man, Tacky. Love Tacky. All right. So the author is Helen Lester and the illustrator is Lynn Munsinger. Well, there's Tacky with the other penguins right there. So Tacky the penguin. Oh, well, I kind of, I'm kind of guessing maybe he's silly, but I don't know that for sure. I got to get to know him, right? You got to get to know him. There once lived a penguin. His home was a nice icy land he shared with his companions. Companion isn't the word for like friends there. So he shares it with his penguin friends. His companions were named Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect. Wow, those are some, some names, right? Your name is just perfect, okay. His name was Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird. Okay, I can kind of just guess right here. Odd kind of, odd means like different. Like look, he, you can tell just by his physical features right here, he's different from the other birds, right? They have the bow tie, but he's got that, they kind of got that silly shirt and he's a bit rounder. And look, they're all standing there and he's eating a sandwich, so, okay. Every day, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect greeted each other quietly and politely. Good afternoon, good morning, good morning. How are you, how do you do? 
Tacky greeted them with a hearty slap on the back and a loud, what's happening? Oh my goodness, that's how he greeted them. Okay, he's definitely different, right? Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, perfect, always march. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Tacky always march. One, two, three, four, two, three, six, zero, two and a half, zero. Now, okay, we're getting to know Tacky a little bit right here. Could we call him silly? Yeah, I think we can call him silly. Just like, look what he's doing. Like he's, he's, he's marching out of order and he's just like laying down. I think we can call him silly. So right now we know just from the few pages, he's odd, which means different, which it's okay to be different. And he's a bit silly. Mm -hmm. His companions were graceful divers. Penguins are good divers. They dive right into the water, right? Tacky liked to do a splashy cannonball. He's pretty silly. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Always sang pretty songs like sunrise on the iceberg. Tacky always sang songs like how many toes does a fish have? Tacky was an odd bird. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they're holding their ears a little bit. So I might say that he's not the best singer. Could be. One day the penguins heard the thump, thump, thump of feet in the distance. This could mean only one thing. Hunters had come. Penguin hunters, that's not good. So they're all worried. Look at Tacky, he's like, what? What's going on? Oh, this was kind of the characters on the cover right here. They came with maps and traps and rocks and locks and they were rough and tough. As the drew closer, the penguins could hear the growling voices chanting. We're gonna catch some pretty penguins and we'll march them with the switch and we'll sell them for a dollar and we'll get rich, rich, rich. Oh, they're gonna catch penguins and sell them and make money off it. That would frighten some penguins for sure. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect, ran away in fright. They hid behind a block of ice. Okay, so they named all the friends, they hid. Tacky, they didn't say he hid. Tacky stood alone. The hunters marched right up to him chanting, we're gonna catch some pretty penguins and we'll march them with the switch and we'll sell them for a dollar and we'll get rich, rich, rich. Tacky is facing the hunters, he didn't hide. Whoa, could we call him brave? I think that could be a characteristic, a quality we could say about him, a good trait. I think he is pretty brave, maybe a little clueless, but he is pretty brave. He's just like, hey. <sighs> What's happening? Blared Tacky, giving one hunter an especially hearty slap on the back. Oh, ta oh Tacky, <laughs> he did his usual. What's happening? They growled, we're hunting for penguins. That's what's happening. Do they not know he's a penguin? He does look different from the other penguins. Penguin, said Taggy. Do you mean those birds that march neatly in a row? He marched one, two, three, four, two, three, six, zero, two and a half, zero. The hunters looked puzzled, meaning confused. So he was saying, oh, you mean the penguins that marched like this? And then he marks, marched all goofy and they're like, well, you're not marching like a penguin. That's not actually, maybe, maybe Taggy's on to something. Maybe he's smart, smarter than we do you mean those birds that dive so gracefully tacky asked. then he did a splashy cannonball the hunters looked wet they're like yeah but what you're what what are you why are you cannonballing do you mean those birds that sing such pretty songs tacky began to sing and from behind the block of ice came the voices of his companions all singing as loudly and dreadful as they could they're like "Ooh, okay okay what do you think tacky's trying to do here yeah, I think he's trying to like kind of distract or trick the hunters. They're looking for penguins and he's like, I'm not a penguin. How can I be a penguin? Look at all the things I do differently, right? I'm not a penguin, my typical penguin, right? And what makes you think that these other penguins started agreeing with Tacky? They are catching on, right? They start singing with him. They're like, how many toes does a fish have and how many wings on a cow? I wonder, yup, I wonder, right? They're not doing what they normally do as penguins. They're like, oh, Tacky's tricking them. Let's trick them to survive, right? 
The hunters could not stand the horrible singing. This could not be the land of pretty penguins. They ran away with their hands clasped tightly over their ears, leaving behind their maps and traps and rocks and logs and not looking at all rough and tough. <laughs> they looked rough and tough, but getting to know them, they weren't so rough and tough, right? They weren't so scary. The other penguins judged them. Tacky got to know them. He was like, we can trick them. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect, hugged Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a very nice bird to have around. Oh, there's a lot of tacky books you see over here. Play ball. Yeah, look at him, right? Oh. Let's see. All right, so we got to know tacky a little bit, right? So let me, I am going to, we can pull up. All right, so tacky right here, right? We got to know him. Here's some inside traits we can talk about him. He's odd. Now remember, odd is okay. He's just different. He's different from the other penguins, but that ended up being a very good thing. He's funny. Yeah, I would say he's funny when he's like, hey, what's happening, right? He kind of just does what he wants to do. He doesn't really care about what other people think, right? He's loud. Yeah, he's loud, right? He's loud with his how you doing. He's loud with his singing. He's even loud with his diving. He makes that big splash, right? Here's one that's pretty important, brave. I think Tacky is brave, right? What's my evidence? How do I know that, right? Well, remember when he stood up to those, all the other penguins hid behind the iceberg and he stood up to those hunters and he's like, what's happening, right? That takes a pretty brave penguin to do that, right? For someone who's trying to get you and you're just like, what's up? What are you doing here, right? He stood up to his fears. Here's one with the O right here. It says outgoing. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means you're you're not shy. You can talk to basically anyone. You, you can have a conversation you like to talk. I would say tacky, my evidence there. I mean, he talked to the hunters. He's he's like, he's cool at being his, himself, right? He He's definitely not going. And that last one, silly. Uh, yeah, do you see how he marched, right? That's super silly, right? Um, so see how I liked when I said, um, his characteristic traits and I told you his traits, I tried to give you some evidence. Remember we talked about being story detectives and kind of like proving it, right? I was trying to give you examples of how I got to know them, like how he was silly and how he was outgoing and how he was brave. It's good to do that to give you kind of like the why, right? Explain it better. So I am going to stop sharing my screen right now. And that's tacky, right? I love tacky, isn't he great? Um, so today when you're reading books on Raz Kids or at home, um, try to find a character in your story, get to know them and describe it to someone like, Hey, did you know that Piggy is really adventurous and maybe, um, uh, Gerald is, is really cautious or worries a lot. Try to get to know a character and explain it to someone and tell them why you know that. All right. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you check out all the other videos of the teachers. They work very hard and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.